YouTube channel. This is a place where I share the knitting and sewing projects that I've been working each month and today I've actually got some projects that I was working on just before Christmas um, and put my tea down. I just wanted to come in and do a quick introduction to this video because you'll notice you'll see the Christmas tree in the background and um, you'll, you might notice that I actually filmed this just before Christmas but as we all know um, nothing's been going to plan over the last year and I didn't get this video out for you and I didn't want it to go to waste because it's not a festive video it's just sharing what I've been working on so I knew that you'd want to see it um, but just yeah so that it made a little bit more sense I thought I'd pop in and wish you all a happy new year I know that things are still a real struggle for many of us and that it's been quite hard going into a new year um, bringing a lot of the problems that we've had in 2020 into a new year I think most of us were hoping for a fresh start and to feel um, yeah a bit more positive going into the new year but that's been quite difficult for me and I'm sure it has for many people but I if you are one of the people that's started the new year with lots of great intentions and really positive outlook that's brilliant and I know for me something that I'm just focusing on right now is the things that I can control so I'm just doing real small things like getting up every day making my bed washing my face you know trying to make good food choices doing the things that I know are in the long run going to really help me because um, let's face it we can't control some of the bigger things that are going on right now so yeah I really hope that you enjoy the video and one of the things I noticed when I was watching it back was that I didn't actually tell you what I was wearing so I'm wearing the same sweater that I'm wearing in the clips you'll see next and this is the pheasant pullover by Amy Christophers and it's knit in Jameson Smith yarn um, which I'll link all the colours and the details below the video in our show notes so that if you're interested you can see all the colours that I used but yeah I won't chat on for too much longer I just wanted to come and say hello and yes introduce this next video I'll come back to you in a few weeks with some new projects and some progress on the things that I've been working on and yeah I'll speak to you then take care and enjoy the video I'm going to talk to you today about some of the things I've been knitting I've got a tiny little sewing project to show and yeah, but mainly it's knitting. So I'm going to put my cup of tea down and I'll start by showing you, I'll show you what I've got on my needles right now. This is my most current project and it's in one of my Christmas bags. These um, are currently in the shop. I did a, a, a big print run on Friday and did lots more of these Christmas drawstring bags. So if you've been waiting for those, you'll find them in the shop this week. And yeah, I'm doing a hat. It's the um, Helsing hat by Lenny Hoy. And yeah, it's just a really, really nice one by one rib with a folded up brim. And I'm doing it, this is actually a discontinued yarn. It's from the Fibre Company and it's their Canopy Worsted. So it's a really, really squishy worsted weight yarn. It's lovely but um, it's in this really nice uh, sort of taupey shade. It's kind of like, I'd, I'd say it's almost like a kind of oyster or mushroomy shade, but um, it's actually called Wild Ginger, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to finishing this. I probably just need like another evening. It's been really, really quick. I've knit most of this. I think I did it just over the weekend. Yeah, I'm sure I cast on Saturday evening and I've been working on this, so I don't think, I haven't really made um, changes to the pattern exactly, but. The original, it's one where you hold a worsted weight and a lace weight mohair. So the gauge is a little bit different. So what I've done, um, as I'm just using the worsted, I've cast on for the biggest size hat. And I actually used, I've got it here, I used, this is the Marlon hat that I knit by Sari Nordland. And this was in the, um, what's the, they're called the Yarn Collective. The Yarn Collective Hudson Worsted Yarn and yeah, I'm kind of using this as a bit of a guide because this fits really well and the stitch count for the largest size hat was the closest stitch um, size to this hat. So I've kind of used that as a bit of a gauge and I'm also using it as a gauge for how tall to do my hat. So 
yeah, I think it's going to work out really well. I love this, so I think this will look great. So hopefully I'll be able to show you this next time and it will be a finished hat. So I've got that on the needles. And to go with that, also in another canopy worsted, but in a different shade. I think this shade's called Sarsaparilla, because um, it's a shade that I've used before, but this um, the worsted weight is all discontinued. I'm basically doing a bit of stash busting. I think I um, spoke to you, maybe it was a couple of episodes ago, that I was having a bit of an organise of my stash, and yeah, I've got a few bits that I donated to charity that I knew that I wasn't going to knit anymore. And yeah, I'm just working through some of the bits that I've got in there that I think would be really great. I've sort of made a few pieces. So I've done these knits, which they haven't been blocked yet. So they maybe look a little bit wibbly on the thumbs, but um, I'll show you. They're really nice long cuffs. So you put this on before your coat. You've got like a really nice cozy knit there. And yeah, just a really, really simple pattern. Um, I'm not going to share the pattern I used for these because I actually didn't think it was that great. <laughs> so um, it was perfectly fine, but I don't know, I wouldn't, it's not one that I would recommend. So I won't give the pattern details, but it was a really, really simple mitt. If you look on Ravelry or Pinterest or somewhere, you'll find some other simple mitts like this. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with the sort of look of the two together. I think those will go really nicely. So that's what I've been doing. I was actually, it's funny, because last um, last time I was talking to you about gift knitting and I was saying how any kind of knit for people if I know that they're really gonna want what I've been making. And these were something that I started on work, working on for my sister. And we were out for a walk, and I'd only done one, <laughs> but um, we were out for a walk, and I said, oh, I've finished, like, this knit. If you want them, like, try it on, let me know what you think, and I'll knit the other one, like, if you like them. If not, no pressure, I'll keep them for myself, because I was really happy with them. And it actually turned out that I ended up giving her my mitts. I don't know if you remember them. I'll see if I can... I'll, well, I'll link to them in the show notes. They were a lovely yellow pair that I knit in, um, it was a Melody Hoffman pattern. I want to say it's the treehouse mix, but I might just be saying that because it's got a tree shape on it, but I'll put it in the show notes anyway. They were a pair of mittens I knit back in 2018, and as we were on this walk, she was really cold, I ended up giving her my mittens, and they went perfectly with what she was wearing, so it was a really good match, so I ended up saying she could keep those, and I knit these for myself, so... Yeah, the other mittens have gone to a good home, and that was a very knitworthy person who received them, and I've got myself a nice new cosy pair of mittens that I think are going to be really nice. So those are the two things that I've got. Just pop them in my bag so I don't get too disorganised today. If you've watched before, you'll know I'm in a slightly different um, area of my living room. I'm trying to use the best of the natural light. It's been so gloomy for weeks um so as soon as I saw the sun come out I was like I'm gonna make most of this today I'm gonna get the camera out and see what we could film so that's the first thing I've got showing you my hat I'll show you my socks so this was another um pattern that I was working on last time I saw you I finished my cozy autumn sock this is a pattern by Olivia of handmade, This Handmade Life and it's a pattern I've knit before and I'm really pleased with how they're turning out. I'm not sure how well it'll pick up on the camera, it's always difficult to show like a cable and this dark yarn but it's, yeah, I really love how it's turned out and I've knit one of those and I've just got the tiny weeniest little bit in one of my other winter bags, this is a little sock sack got the teeny weeniest little bit of a cuff. <laughs> I try and as soon as I finish one sock, even if it's just a few rows, I try and get the next one cast on because otherwise I don't know if you're the same. I would just end up leaving leaving the project for some reason and I'll have one sock and nothing <laughs> started. So as soon as I get started then they're really easy to just pick up. So that's in the Fibre Company Amble, that's the new sock yarn, and I was raving about that last time. So if you're interested in hearing about their new yarn, you can have a look at that episode. But I'll put details in the show notes. Basically, it's an eco-friendly 
machine washable yarn. They've created this easy wash treatment which doesn't use the chlorine and the chemicals that are used in a lot of superwash um, processes and it's actually got nylon which is recycled so it's keeping the nylon out of landfill and yeah it's an all-round great yarn it's knitting up into lovely squishy bouncy socks so really happy with how those are coming out and I've already mentioned a couple of times the show notes they'll be linked below this video so if you look below you'll find the link that goes over to the show notes and if you prefer to get them straight to your inbox, I also have an email sign up below. So every time a new video goes live, I'll pop you an email and you'll have all the show notes there. Um, so you can click through to watch the video and you'll have all the details of any yarns, patterns, everything I talk about basically will be in those show notes. So yeah, I've got those socks and those are the only socks I've been working on this month. Um, I think the other thing I was going to show you, this is probably not that exciting, but I've shown you before my one sweater by Becky Baker that I knit using another fibre company yarn. <laughs> I've said before um, I do some work for the fibre company, so I often use their yarns for my projects, which is great. Um, I love the yarn, so it's a nice um, thing for me to be able to share them with you. But this was something that I knit in the canopy fingering, which is a yarn you can get, it's just the worst if it was discontinued. But basically, um, so this was finished, I'm not sure if it was February this year or February last year, but it was quite some time ago. But what I've done is I've gone back, I ripped out the cuffs and I knit literally just one inch. That was all I knit, just an inch. Sounds like the tiniest amount, but it's made such a difference. And that was why I wanted to mention this briefly, was just, this is the beauty of making your own clothes, and it's something that I love, is that we have the power to change something if it doesn't turn out quite as expected. And this was one of those things that I knit the sleeve to the length I thought I wanted, and since I've been wearing it, I'm not sure if it's just that the um, yarn has maybe contracted ever so slightly since I blocked it and through wearing it and the heat of your body and things like that, it might have um, just changed slightly. But um, yeah, I just felt like they were a tiny bit too short. And this, it's been, it's been such a small change. It's taken me so long to do it, but it was so worth it just taking the time to make something perfect. And I just wanted to mention it in the hopes that it would encourage you to do the same. If you've got any sort of projects that you just don't find yourself reaching, to enough, reaching for enough because there's something that's ever so slightly not quite right, I urge you to pull those out and make it right. Go back, rip something back, make a change. It's, yeah, I just think it's a really, really good thing to do so that it becomes something that you do want to reach for. And now, just as I say, all it was was an inch and it just means that I'm reaching for this so much more. It just feels that little bit more cosy. I felt like they just looked a little bit too short. I, I don't like my... Um, sleeves to be long anyway but these were just that little bit too short and as it's a tighter fitting sweater I felt like it just looked like it was too small whereas I think if you've got a more boxy fit I think it looks okay to have a slightly shorter cuff um, but yeah this just looked like it was almost too small so they probably look a little bit wiggly on the camera because all I did was steam them just to get the stitches to sort of bloom but I will actually go back and give this a block and it actually needs a bit of a comb as well get rid of any bobbles and yeah so that's something that I did this month and I think that's everything I mentioned to you last time I was going to do my Mandy boat tea and I realized as soon as I finished filming that weekend I thought right I'm going to sew my Mandy boat tea I was ready and I realized that where we are in the UK we had gone into lockdown and of course I couldn't go to the shop to match my thread <laughs> so that's something I haven't been able to work on um, we're in tier two here now which means lots of shops have opened so it's something that I could um, take to the shop now I take my fabric and get a good match for the cotton because I didn't have anything in my selection that matched that lovely rusty orangey shade so yeah that was a bit of a fail but never mind don't mind waiting it's not something you could purchase online I kind of used to um, being able to get things online, but with something that you want a really good match with the fabric I feel like I need to take a little swatch into the store and get the perfect cotton for, uh, for sewing that so don't have that the one thing I did have um, I did this little tiny sort of ornament or decoration I'm not sure what you'd call 
lit. You've probably seen, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice in the background of my photos I have um, some of these little hoops that I have my fabrics that I've printed and I have those in the background. So this is like a little ornament where I've kind of got it standing in place of one of those. And it's a pattern, it's from, um, it's from a sampler that's called, I think it's called winter things or these winter things i'll leave the exact name in the show notes but basically it's a sample of winter things by alicia paulson and i've used her patterns before and i just took the little tree motif which was one of the um, pieces in the sampler and i popped it in this little hoop and again that was something that was really quick and easy to do i did it on a whim one saturday night and yeah, i just spent one evening putting that together i think it has three shades um, yeah, so really, really simple. If you're looking for something that you want to work on for the holidays, then maybe that's a good, good one for you to do as well. So I've got my tree, and the only other thing I was going to talk to you about was um, I showed a few weeks ago the flax light sweater that I knit for my nephew. I did a little. Uh, I think I knit him the nine to twelve month size, and. I found this in my stash, as I said, I was doing a bit of organising, it's Wool Kitchen, um, which is, what's the colour, Petrochromia, I think that's what it's called, and you can see it's got these like blips of neon, and it's a really, really cool yarn, but I thought this would make a great flax light, and this is a DK, so not a fingering, but I thought if I knit the same size, then the slightly thicker yarn will give me a bigger size, than what he's wearing right now. So I'm gonna have a go at doing that, so I think that's gonna be, I think I've got about three skeins of this, so I've got a few, but I thought this would be really fun. It knits up in the this kind of section, it almost creates these like little blips, it's like little, they're probably like half an inch long, little um, blips of color with this kind of washed out denim blue kind of shade in the background. So yeah, so that's a future planning project that I've got. And I think that's everything. I only had um, a few little, actually it's mainly accessories, isn't it? So I've got the hats and the gloves and those bits. I've just felt like working on those little projects at the moment. So I hope you are doing well. This is probably the last time I'm going to chat to you before Christmas break. And I'll see you in the new year. As I said before, if you want to see anything I've talked about, have a look at the show notes and sign up for the mailing list if you want to get those show notes to your inbox. And come and have a look at the shop if you're wanting to get some of the wintry bags. Or I've got loads of things in stock at the moment. I've been trying to keep it really well stocked over Christmas as things have been flying out for people buying Christmas gifts. So if you're somebody that's purchased something recently, thank you and I will see you all in the new year. Take care, bye bye.